Hello and welcome back to our Minecraft Vanilla LP. We are in uh, version 1.51 now. We are no longer in the snapshot. Um, just uh, the most recent bug fix for the redstone update. And um, not a whole lot new to talk about. Uh, we're still in the process of finishing up our stronghold. Um, I did unfortunately have to go to the nether and get some more blaze rods um, to make the additional eyes of ender. Um, and I did die there trying to uh, make sort of a blaze spawner setup, um, but I managed to get back and get a lot of my stuff back. But I did lose some things, which I wasn't happy about. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, the sun's going down, so we're just going to hang out here. And um, while I'm here, I might as well show you some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, I still have the cactus farm and the melon farms over here. I have been working on building out a little more of these uh, regular crop farms up here. I have my potato farm, and I decided to be clever with it and hook up some dispensers for it um, so that I can push and flood it um, if the potatoes were actually grown in. I might demonstrate it, but uh, since they're not there yet, I'm just going to leave it. But I just have water buckets and all these, and it just floods and brings all the potatoes to me in this corner. So. Um, I'll probably implement something similar to that for the wheat farm and the carrot farm, um, but the carrot farm is not far enough along at this point, um, due mostly to the fact that I haven't had this chunk loaded uh, on a regular basis, so I've been messing around mostly over by the stronghold, um, so a lot of this stuff isn't growing most of the time. Um, so as soon as the sun goes down, I will probably go over... sleep first and I'll go to the stronghold area. I have some ender pearls there as well. And I believe um, with those ender pearls I might be able to finish filling out the uh, portal frame. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, even after I do that I want to make um, a couple of ender chests. Um, because the first couple, a couple of times I go to the end, I'm expecting to die. Um, so I want some, you know, I want to gather some ender pearls, um, and then throw those in the ender chest, and um, you know, that way when I die, it doesn't really matter. So I had a couple of levels, so I'm just going to put those on my iron tools for now, uh, both to kill time and um, so that these tools last a little longer. And we'll, oop, please sleep. I thought I could change my sound levels while I was sleeping, but apparently not. Yes. Bearing headphones, um, so everything needs to be really low volume. Um, let's grab one of our coal maps. This one's not really filled out, so I'll grab that one. And this is the area actually where the stronghold is, so I'll grab that one and take it along too. So we just need to go northwest of where we are now. And I will save you the boring parts of the journey, and I'll come back when I'm over there. Okay, so we made our way back to the stronghold. Um, apparently I took the ender pearls from here over to uh, 
the Craftsman House when I went. Um, so these six are actually the only ones we have right now. So uh, looks like after this we'll just need one more. And then two for Ender Chests. And then we'll be good to go. And then we just need countless diamonds to make diamond armor. Okay, so I found a little cave and I'm just exploring it. And um, here's an Ender Man here. Um, so I may try to get him to cooperate with me. See if I can get another inner pearl. Come on. I've been having a lot of trouble getting them to cooperate because they seem to run away. And then I lose them. Oh, I, I thought I heard him. Where did you go? Oh, I hear him. There, didn't drop anything. It's unfortunate, so I'm just exploring this cave I found near the stronghold. I want to see if I can locate any useful ores or diamonds, mostly. And there's a creeper friend. Collecting some XP along the way doesn't hurt. Um, so let's try and go down. Oh, give this little skeleton friend a way up. I don't know. Yeah, I've actually used up all my arrows. So. Here, you come up here. Pathfinding, please. He's content to just shoot at me from down there. So, Alright, you can't see me anymore, so you come up here. if they would drop more arrows, but they don't seem to want to do that. Oh, hello. Oh, you're all the way down there. Shoot the creeper, please. Oh, darn it. seed I used, and I don't remember what seed it was. It must have been a seed for water generation. Let's see if we can make these count. Oh, there we go. Arrows, please. At least three. strictly melee on this gaming run. Oh, come on, tedious water. Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks for letting me get up that block. Just coming from up there. There we go. Water, water everywhere. necessarily want 
want to go up. Spawner here. Um, let's build this out. Alright, guys. One of you must have a pearl. There's one. Magic number is three. Come on. some lava, so that means we're approaching diamond level. And light this up. I'm always impressed by how much darker it looks in the recorded output than how dark it is when I'm actually doing it. So, if I can place extra torches, that would probably be a good thing. to not die in this lava. Um, so I guess that means we're not at diamond level, huh? Oh, wait, no, there's more. Oh, wow. Um, you guys fight with each other? 
fight the winner. I'm gonna guess you're gonna win because uh, you have armor. Enchanted armor, no less. Oh, you lost. How did that happen? Well, that worked out. More arrows, and here's another skeleton. I must have adjusted the spawn rate on these guys, too, because they're all over. That yeah, looks like it goes up, so that's why I wasn't interested in it. This iron. Uh, is there something to stand on down here? I might try to explore it a bit, but it looks like it is just all lava as far as the eye can see. Redstone for the XP. I'm not really building a lot of redstone contraptions at this point. Um, probably after I finish the game, so to speak, I'll probably do a lot more building. Um, at which point, I'll probably attempt to do some redstone type things. But for right now, sort of pseudo-automated potato farm, and that's uh, as far as things have gotten, really. Um, uh, I was also toying with the idea of trying to play the game in hard mode, or possibly, what is it, hardcore above that? just doing a series of basically just seeing how long I can survive, but I don't know how interesting that might be. I know that when I watch the YouTube videos, the parts that I find interesting are probably, like, the parts I like when I watch a video are the parts that I like least when I'm actually making a video, which is frequent death. Um, so I don't know if it would be appealing to watch me die over and over again in a hardcore. Um, I guess if it wasn't repetitive, or I wasn't like, s you know, making wooden tools over and over again, it might be more interesting. So maybe just a harder difficulty rather than um, making it so the world was deleted <laughs> would be a better goal. point, any kind of um, practice in the game is probably going to make for a more interesting video. The Feed the Beast tends to be a lot of crafting grid stuff, um, which is interesting if you've gotten tired of the game, I guess. so the vanilla stuff still interests me. Yeah, I was there before. I don't, I'm not seeing any diamonds down here, so I might have to go back up. Um, let's go over there. I might have to just branch 
search mine down here to find diamonds. But yeah, branch mining is not a terribly interesting video, so I won't do anything like that off camera. Um, have it been this way? source useful for other things but in this I should just pour the water on it well this is turning into a bust as far as diamonds are concerned This has been a long enough episode at this point. 